Hello and welcome back to episode 6 of my bonding series. Today I'm introducing covalent bonding. I'm going to talk about what a molecule is and finally I'm going to go through my five coolest molecules of all time. So stay tuned to find out what that is at the end. Firstly, what are covalent bonds? Covalent bonds are formed between non-metal elements only. In other words, only elements found in the part highlighted in red here of the periodic table. They involve the sharing of electrons rather than the transfer of electrons, as we've seen with ionic compounds in my previous three videos in the bonding series. So I'll give you an example of a covalent bond. So here is a hydrogen atom and hydrogen has one electron in its outer shell. Here is a chlorine atom. Chlorine has seven electrons in its outer shell, which I'm representing with dots. Hydrogen's electron I'm representing with a cross. So both these atoms need an electron each to have a full outer shell. So what happens is they share an electron each. So hydrogen's atom overlaps with chlorine's atom and by sharing an electron each they both achieve a full outer shell so what exactly is a molecule a molecule is a group of two or more non-metal atoms that are covalently bonded together molecules come in all shapes and sizes and have some fascinating structures. Here I've drawn three of the most famous molecules in the world. This is water, H2O. This is oxygen with a double bond, O2. And finally, last but not least, this is carbon dioxide, which is responsible for global warming. And of course, I will go through global warming and what is being done about it in terms of chemistry in later videos. Now, talking of later videos, in the next video, I will go through how to draw dot and cross diagrams of molecules such as carbon dioxide, oxygen, and water. And <clears throat> I can't wait to share with you a foolproof hack I have for drawing all molecules from GCSE to IB and A level. So make sure you watch that. To end today's video, I will do a rundown of my top five coolest molecules of all time. Freshly cut grass, especially at this time of the year in early spring, is probably my favorite smell. And in at number five is the molecule responsible for the smell called cis 3 hex and one oil which I've drawn here. Okay, at number four, we have the Buckminster fullerene or buckyball molecule, which has the exact same structure of an old school football. So as you can see, an old school football, as was used in the 1970 World Cup in Mexico, has a pentagon surrounded by five hexagons. So one, two, three, four, five. And a buckyball has exactly the same structure. So you, you can see a pentagon here, surrounded by five hexagons. And number three is the DNA molecule, which stores all our genetic information and all the genetic information in living organisms. It's a massive molecule and consists of over three billion atoms. And just missing out on top spot is the world's smallest motor known as nanocar, which has a chassis highlighted in blue here, made of a single molecule. It can actually move its wheels when there's a change of temperature or when electric current is applied to it. Now, I absolutely love cooking and spicy food. So my number one spot goes to the molecule responsible for the spiciness of chili peppers called capsaicin. The cool thing about this molecule is that it doesn't actually cause physical damage to your mouth. Capsaicin 
tricks your brain into perceiving a burning sensation by binding to specific pain receptors. So that's it for today's introduction to covalent bonds and molecules. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to stay updated with my latest content. Until next time, bye for now.